So here we have Cryptagon.com. They specialise in news, analysis and conspiracies. And one of the biggest conspiracies of this month has been Charlie Veach's infiltration of 9-11 Truth. But when we search Cryptagon, one month after his spectacular betrayal, if we click search, we get no more results. Well, that's interesting. So let's look at federaljack.com. They were amongst the first to report Charlie Veach's treachery on the 30th of June, 2011. Well, one month later, on the 27th of July, today, let's search InfoWars to find out what they've written about the biggest overt infiltration of 9-11 Truth. Big story, big news, massive multi-year in-your-face conspiracy. Click search and every single article loves Charlie to bits. All 14 articles are old news, most dating back to 2010. So let's search prisonplanet.com, edited by Paul Joseph Watson. He's a British high-end political and conspiracy analyst. Search and you get 10 I love you Charlie Veach articles in the last year alone. Every single article, old news, and not even a sausage about Veach's U-turn. Wait a second. Lying by omission is what you accuse the mainstream media of doing. Everything from the Fukushima disaster to 9-11 truth. So what do you gain by omitting the truth from your conspiracy analysis websites? Well, people don't find out that you've loved Charlie to bits all the time. That's good for you, but not good for the truth movement. The BBC conspiracy road trip documentary gains credibility and traction if you, if you ignore the story. So, what are the benefits of covering the Veach story? Well, Watson and Jones might take a hit on their egos, but the truth movement advances, and the forthcoming BBC road trip documentary loses credibility, if you uh, talk about the story. It should be obvious that you ought to be covering this story. Otherwise, Infowars and Pris Prison Planet just lose credibility. I'd like to send a genuine message of peace and love to everybody and anybody who might be watching this video.